Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Dean Soterianis. We're gonna do a CMC arthroplasty using an LRTI technique with a true shot with Why Not Shallow and an MTF Allopatch. The incision is based along the dorsal surface of the metacarpal and the first dorsal compartment. One must be careful to avoid branches of the radial sensory nerve and we initiate the procedure by first identifying the tendons of the first dorsal compartment and we do release the first dorsal compartment as I do this procedure. We're exposing the trapezium now with the section carried down to the radial artery as you see right at the tip of my knife blade and from there we're elevating capsule off of the trapezial bone and the base of the thumb metacarpal. You can see the concavity of the basal joint right here. So to keep the radial artery from being injured, I would typically use a freer elevator here to insert on the opposite side between the scaphoid and the trapezium. And now we're gonna use the trapezium pin. And I am currently using the McGlamory elevator. This is the trapezium post resection. This is the flexor carpi radialis. If you were doing a traditional LRTI, you would be using that as your interposition, which we will not do in this case. I typically prepare the metacarpal. With use of the Hall Micro-Free Sagittal Saw, we will clean up the base of the metacarpal. Now with the curette, I create my metacarpal hole. Now we will drill the hole into the lateral cortex of the metacarpal to pass the allograft tendon. We have our 1 by 12 allopatch allograft and what we'll do now is split it so that we can increase the length of it. Now we have a half a centimeter by approximately 24 centimeters which makes it easier to pass through the hole. The true shot with Why Not Cello will now be placed into the trapezoid. Hold it against the bone firmly. Drill the guide wire until it reaches its end point and pull the drill out. Then mallet the deployment guide until it is completely engaged. Then the latch is brought down with your thumb to deploy. Remove the sutures and finally everything is just pulled back. And excellent deployment of the anchor. So what we have to do now is just get the allograft and suture it. So I'm making a ball here with this. All right, now the anchovy is created and we will now anchor this to the trapezium so that it does not dislocate out of the joint where you want it. Now we're simply suturing the anchovy to our anchored trapezoid, which will keep it in position and prevent it from dislocating or subluxating out of the wound. Now we're inserting the allograft into the wound. So what you're seeing here is a modified LRTI. Instead of FCR, we're using allograft. Usually I place five or six knots in to be certain that it stays stable. The allograft is in good position, maintaining the distance between the metacarpal and the base of the scaphoid. The next step would be to pass the super shuttle through the drill hole in the lateral cortex of the metacarpal, through which you will pull the dermal allograft through as such. Now you see the ligament reconstruction being performed. I like to create a knot to guide with my own tension. So here you see the limb which I left from the anchovy and we will create a knot to judge our tension. So at this point what I do now that I have passed my allograft through the metacarpal and have created some tensioning I will suture the knot where I want it. I am using ConMed's Hi-Fi suture to create the knot tie. And the way I tension it is simply by placing another stitch through my allograft limb and pulling the knot further into the site of the arthroplasty. So here I'm simply fine tuning my abduction vector by bringing the knot further in to the wound. At this stage, I simply excise excess tendon and the reconstruction is complete. You can see the interposition in good position the thumb is with a very nice abduction vector and at this point we complete the procedure by imbricating the capsule. Skin closure with 4 nylon and post-op protocol here is a plaster splint for two weeks and then a removable splint for one month that the patient can remove to shower. Thank you 